Have you ever wondered why the snowflakes look so beautiful? And what is the science behind it? So today I am going to tell you what makes these snowflakes so artistic and also why no two snowflakes are identical. For snowflakes to form, the cloud's air has to be super saturated with moisture. That means there is a more water in the air than would normally be possible. The relative humidity can reach 101% during the super saturation. That means there is 1% more water in the air than it should be able to hold. When there is too much liquid water in the air, a cloud will try to rid itself of the excess. Some of that excess can flash freeze into the crystals, which then lazily meander to the ground. But cold water alone could not make a snowflake. Scientists call it nucleus. The nucleus is either a few molecules that come together in an ice lattice or can be particles in the air such as dust. Microscopic supercooled cloud droplets then freeze around this nucleus. Once the initial droplet freezes, the snowflake begins to grow as it moves through the clouds. In 1951, scientists from an organization now called the International Association of Cryospheric Science or IACS devised the classification system that characterized snowflake into 10 basic shapes. These shapes include the stellar crystals that many people are familiar with as well as lesser known snowflake forms such as capped columns. The IACS classification system is still in use today although there are other more complex classification system as well. Single crystal snowflake often exhibit six-sided symmetry. This is because the initial ice structure is six-fold and the arms grow from each of these points. Many snowflakes appear to be two-dimensional work of art. Other looks like a matted cluster of fraying ice strands. Most come as individuals, although some can fall as multi-flake clumps, but all have in column is their source. Yes clouds that usually hover at least a kilometer or 0.6 mile above the ground. Also, it is said that no two snowflakes are same. This is because the snowflake experiences many changes in temperature and humidity as it grows and falls to the earth. Therefore, they all tend to look unique, resembling everything from prisms and needles to the familiar lacy pattern. So next time, if you are caught up in snow, you know the science behind it. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Till then, see you in the next video. Keep watching.